sex or money? Money or sex? See how the two kind of just go together? No. Why not? You know, you got to have money to live. And if we didn't have sex, then none of us would be here. So if the person is attractive enough to be worth some money, and say the other person is not attractive enough to be with someone who is more attractive to them, then what's wrong with that person who's less attractive paying the person who's more attractive to have sex with them? If you think that's wrong, then what basically what you are saying is that anyone who is too ugly, too stupid, too crippled, too anything, cannot have sex. You can't do that to people. Because we are sexual beings and everybody needs to have sex. Sex is healthy. Sex is good. People who don't have sex suffer depression. They suffer all kinds of mental defects like different forms of autism. People who don't have sex lose a particular area of their brain that makes people more empathetic and less violent. So yeah, you need sex. It's a human thing and you'll never stop people from wanting to have sex no matter what. Sex has always been here. That We've always had prostitution. Prostitution has always been around. You're never going to stop it because you're never going to stop people from having sex. We are human beings and human beings enjoy sex. If we didn't enjoy sex, then our brains would be smaller, okay? Because we wouldn't be able to connect the two. We wouldn't be able to realize that sex feels good, therefore we're going to do sex. You see? Unless you shrink your brain, of course, and deny yourself sex, which isn't something anybody with uh, half their brain would do. But anyway, back to the subject of prostitution. I see nothing wrong with it, and by the way, to be quite frank, I think it's pretty hot. So yeah, you can take your sweet little boy pussy around and sell it to some 60 year old guy and that's just fucking hot with me as long as you bring it home every night I'll be all over that shit <laughs> yeah so what else is new 